Now this is a question where there are lot of opinions and there are two different answers. Okay. I strongly believe one of the answer is correct. But I have to tell you both the answers and you can give me more updates in the comments because even I mean I like to believe that my answer is correct. The answer which I believe to be correct is correct. But if someone can able to convince me that would be a great thing that if I am wrong. A mobile phone has been stolen. There are three suspects, P, Q and R. They were questioned knowing that only one of them is guilty. Their responses are as follows. Okay, whatever their response is, there is a mo mobile has been stolen and there are three suspects, P, Q and R. Only one of them is guilty. So, the way I approach this problem, okay, the way I approach this problem is that the question say one of them is guilty. He might be telling the lie, but we cannot be sure. Maybe he is a good thief. He can also say the truth. But let even if we assume that he must be, uh, let's assume for the time's sake, he must be telling the lie. But the problem is that we still don't know. If one of them is telling, if the thief is telling the lie, we that does not make the other two people, you know, say, say truth. Because if they are suspects, there is also a small chance that they have something to do with this thing. So then we cannot assume that other two people are telling the truth. So one of them is telling the lie. Other two people are lie or true. I have no idea. So if that is a scenario, the questions, what the statement they are saying is pointless for me. Okay, I cannot find the answer. And the option D is there. It cannot be concluded. So I would probably if I was answering this, I would answer this as D. Because as long as this option is available, then this will be correct. If this option was not there, then I would go for some assumption and try to answer something else. So this is one answer. That is my answer. Uh, now, let's assume, um, let's go for the second round. Or even if this option was not there, then I'll, I will be approaching this method. In this method, I will assume that the thief is telling the lie. And others are telling the truth okay now three people are there p q and r p q and r for first thing i will say thing that p is uh, telling truth p is the truth guy if p is telling the truth then he is saying i did not steal q stole it that automatically make q the thief q is the thief if p is wait P is telling the truth. No, it was my mistake. If we are looking for the uh, thief, right? So, we have to assume the case that P is telling lie. Okay, let's assume that P is the uh, thief. P is the thief or he is lying and everyone else is telling the truth. So, first of all, <laughs> we assume that P is the uh, you know, thief. So, that makes P the thief. And he is saying, I did not st steal. Q stole it. This is also a lie. This is also a lie. Because I did not steal. That's a lie. That he did steal. Q stole it. Q didn't steal it. Now other two people might be telling the truth. Okay. Let's see that. R did not steal. R did not steal. Okay. Fine. He's not the thief. Uh, I did not steal. He's also not the thief. Okay. That is okay. It is matching. I did not steal. I do not know who did it. R did not steal. Okay, good. I do not know who did it. He also doesn't know who did it. Okay, everything seems fine. Now, the first assumption was the thief, thief is P. Now, let's assume the second case where Q is the thief. If Q is a thief, then he is lying and everyone else is telling the truth. If Q is a thief, now let's see what's going to happen. I did not steal. Okay, that is correct because the thief is supposed to be Q. Q stole it. Okay, that is also making sense. Okay, then Q is saying R did not steal. See, Q is supposed to lie. R did not steal basically will make R the thief. He steal. He stole. I did not steal. He also stole. Two thieves are there. <laughs> Even this will become lie. This also will become lie. Two th lies are there. Two thieves are there. But only one suspect is there in our story. Now R is also telling the truth because Q is the thief. I did not steal. 
okay fine he did not steal but the problem here is that here one issue happens we have a uh, contra contradicting statement because uh, q was telling according to q q if q was telling the lie then r is the thief then r is telling the truth then you know r is not the thief so this is contradicting that scenario cannot happen so q cannot be thief because if everything will become too much chaotic now let's look at the uh, next case where the thief is r okay if the thief is r now let's see what's going to happen that means r is lying everyone else is telling the truth i did not steal q stole it see if thief is r then according to the first statement of p which is true he didn't steal it but q stole it you see the problem q became the thief so this is the thing if we tend to assume that only one person is telling the lie and others are telling the truth here also one call, you know issue happens two people two this happens in both the other cases and we can go further but this itself is enough actually only in when p is thief everything is matching up that basically means p will be the thief so this is another answer so again this is by the assumption that the thief is lying and others are telling the truth okay now i wouldn't suggest that because it, since the option cannot be concluded is there if this option is there then i would go for this if this option was not there then i would have answered p so you can't decide what to select we have to wait one year for getting the solution uh, for the official key if you have any uh, perspectives which i missed please please uh, comment that in the comment box and let me know Thank you guys.